Hello. Are we ready? Are we ready for some pulsating pectorals? Oh my god, we have an intro sequence! Oh my god. 1989, let's go. Oh! Uh. Since we last saw our intrepid hero Larry Laffer cavorting merrily with his newly found true love on the sands of, uh... Nantuni Beach, this beautiful island has undergone extensive improvements. Once pristine and primitive, covered by virgin rainforest, splashed by gurgling streams and washed by tropical rains, Nantuni Nan oh God, has discovered and has been discovered by modern civilization. Uh-oh. The villagers, eager to shed their Stone Age lifestyle, united themselves by forming Natives Inc. TH, to protect their interests and develop their island. Realizing they were sitting on a yuppie dream, a vein of gold they could mine through tourism, they took correspondence courses in business management, public administration, sales, and marketing. <laughs> Hello, nobody, no one. Uh... Learning modern construction techniques through self-help books and pirated videotapes of this old house, they began by building a hotel on this very same beach. Oh, look at him go! Borrowing heavily from foreign in investors, they expanded into some very attractive tourist traps. Oh my god, they're building on the volcano. Oh, look at them! That's cute! The growth really exploded when they discovered the holy grail of modern marketing. The wonder of timeshares. Oh, this is Leisure Suit Larry 3. I'm not doing anything. This is just the opening cinematic. Oh my god, not timeshares. Ah, civilization. Who would want- Oh, crap! I hit the button. Alright. Ah, I hope that was it. Alright. Warning, this game contains some material which may be deemed offensive by some players. If you are offended by adult situations, vulgar language, ethnic humor, sexual innu innuendo, or pixelated nudity, you'll be happier playing another game. Alright, hold on, let me get my, uh... I believe it's this one? Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Oops, I don't want to play no dirty computer games. I'm gonna go watch PBS! <laughs> Uh, bail out? Or, oh, go ahead, try and offend me. Alright, what's my age? What age am I- What's my- what's my lore say? How old am I according to my lore? <laughs> Surely nothing offensive will show up. Alright, how old am I according to my lore, you guys? Under 12. I was just- I'm just kidding. <laughs> to prove you're at least 25 years old, just answer these five simple questions. What? Lizzie Borden? Who the heck is that? Uh, okay. Uh, li wait. Okay, it's either the woman who was. Okay, I'm getting two things. Andrew Lizzie Andrew Borden was an American woman tried and acquitted of the August fourth, eighteen ninety two axe murders of her father and stepmother in Fall River, or. Uh. Oh, God. Hold on. Uh, 
How many? Oh, it's 40 wax because it was the ax murder. Oh, what a weird thing. This isn't even an adult thing. This happened in, this happened in freaking uh, 1892. So the question is, is how many of these do we want to get wrong? Because apparently if you get all of them right, you get set to the raunchiest level, which maybe has pixelated nudity, which I probably can't have on stream. I don't know, we'll do, we'll do 40 wax. The five Marx Brothers were Groucho, Harpo, Chico. There's five? Oh no, I'm thinking of the Three Stooges. Okay, Groucho, Harpo, Chico, it's Gummo and Zeppo. Scooter and Skiddo. Pesticide is... All right, the Marx brother Carl, yeah. A legal term for the murder of a younger sibling. There were more, I thought they were the Three Stooges. There were four? What? <laughs> okay, so part of me wonders, hold on. I, I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna answer all of these correctly. A bug killer. Uh, an oil glut is, oh God. An overabundance of commodity in the world markets. Yes, that is it. It is a significant surplus of crude oil caused by falling demand following the 1970s energy crisis. Good. Okay. We're learning, we're learning a lot, you guys. A philanthropist is a humanitarian, a stamp collector, a frivolous lover, the lasso slinging ability of Phil's aunt. Oh, Phil on throw pit. Oh, humanitarian. You are so bright. Oh, you get five out of five questions. Therefore, you get to play the game at the totally raunchiest level. Have fun. Okay, but. Oh my god. My other. Oh god. Part of me. Oh god. Uh, part of me wants to go get some wrong. But also. Ah! Uh, you remember when the, how you parachuted down here with nothing but a sleepy little native village inhabited by a tribe of illiterate islanders? Oh god. Now look. Such is the cost of progress. At least your job as vice president of marketing for Natives Inc. has enabled you to provide a lovely home for you and your for you and your beloved wife. Halalu. Oh, I, I point and click again. Uh, look. From here on the lovely vista point, high up on the slopes of uh not oh my god, I cannot. This is just oh god. Non tunit volcano. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how great layers looking the whole time. Uh, non tunit volcano. The city lies spread below your feet like a floor of a movie theater after a Saturday matinee. A lovely lawn with two bronze plaques lies near the two pairs of binoculars. Look, black. God, how do you spell? How do you? Uh. God, how do you spell plaque? Okay, it is with a Q. Oh God. Okay. Okay. On this site, the great hero of our people, Larry Laffer, single-handedly saved our islands from our mortal enemy, the evil Dr. Nonuki. I like this, okay. Uh, I guess, read? Okay, there, there, laugh. But your heart fills with pride, but also longing for the simpler days of yesteryear. Uh, leave. Okay. Uh, look. Binocular. The two pairs of free binoculars are mounted on posts near the fence. Oh, use, use binocular. Oh God. Whoa, can 
Can I peep on people? Ah! Okay, she didn't show anything. Okay. What if this is those are some physics, huh? I might re um sweat from your hands as you remove your eyes from the binoculars. Um. Hold on. Can I? Oh! Ah, ah, um. Action. We might need to- Ooh, colors. Okay. Boss key? Oh, I don't know what this is. Um. God, there's no like settings? Okay, I'm gonna. Oh God, um, oh God. Okay, um, what was it, F5? Okay, uh. I believe it was, there we go. I'm gonna. And, uh, I'm gonna go for a slightly less raunchy, uh, version. Go ahead, try and offend me. Okay. What was the- what was not a Beezle song? Please please me, obla di, obla di, obla da. Uh, put this in your mouth. The continuing story of Bungalow Bill. Which was not? I believe this is not the one. Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna get some wrong. Pearl Harbor is best known for being a great place to shop for necklaces. Her five years as a Washington DC madam. <laughs> being bombed during World War II or her singing voice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with B. Macadamia nuts are caused by infrequent bathing. Extremely painful. Usually supplied with batteries. Common in Hawaii. I know this one. Okay, maces, liquid tear gas, a mild aphrodisiac, best applied as a topical lubricant. Um, let's just, we'll, we'll see. Oh! Oh, she gets naked. Oh, she gets naked the more questions you answer. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a, wait a gosh darn minute. Sorry, this is very important. Okay. Okay, I wanna, how naked does she get if you get everything right? Uh, artificial insemination is technique widely, oh my God, she does. Artificial intelligence is computer study be human, human study be computers, a blow up doll. Oh my God, she does. How naked does she get if you get the raunchiest one? The author of this game likes to wear his hair parted on the left, parted on the right, long on the inside. Uh. Isn't Allo bald? Uh. I mean, I don't know if he was bald when he made this likes to wear his hair. Oh, I found a thing for it. Uh, oh yeah, it's on the inside because he's bald. Thanks, Allo.com. Uh, Mikhail. Barnyskov is famous for wearing tight underwear. Let's 
Let's see. Oh, it's all of the above. Oh my god, she does lose all of her clothes. Wait, what happened? Wait. What occurred during the Bay of Pigs? Many ugly women took a bath. A big mistake. The first bacon factory. It's the big mistake, right? Oh god, what? What did she remove? I didn't see what she removed the last time. Okay, hold on. We're gonna, um... God, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, we're only gonna get like a few wrong. Who had the rabbit and a talking grandfather clock? Pee Wee Herman? Crap. What band was Paul McCartney in before Wings? The Be okay, it's the Beatles. Okay, I'm just making sure that wasn't like a... Okay, so we got one wrong. I'm gonna get three right. If they could just stay a little longer until their blanks wear out? Uh, it is... A. Carter's. What was the first TV show with the sound of a flushing toilet? Toilet. All in the family. Oh, I see. There was just a little bit of butt left. Okay, which TV show pe featured an appearance by Richard Nixon? A two hour special of The Love Boat. That is laughing. I'm going to get it wrong. I'm going to say it's a love boat. Okay, that's the pretty dirty level. Okay, I'm happy with pretty dirty level. Okay, let's see if that... Oh, God. Uh, uh. Oh, her clothes come back when she looks at her bro. Okay. Views been, uh... Spell but oh, but no killers. Okay, okay, we'll see if this does nudity. Boing. If this does nudity, then we're in trouble. We might need to go back to Mother Goose level. I swear to God, this isn't a bit just to see more pixelated boobs. I swear. Oh, okay. Oh god, am I gonna see like a little bit of boob? This is how they show us how much nudity there's gonna be. Uh, okay. Oh crap! No. No, there was, there was boob, there was nip. Oh, control alt X. I am control alt X. I am hitting that and nothing is happening. Oh crap. Oh, okay. But I like doing the sexy lady quiz. Okay, control X. Okay, well, cheater. Well, okay, since it's since it's you, you may go ahead. Pick a filth level. Okay, one is clean. If I I want like a little bit of dirty though, you know, I'll do. We'll do two. Oh God, what if I put in ten? Okay, I can't. The rather risque. Okay. Alright, 
come on. No titties, no titties, no titties. Okay, but she still might show them when she bends down. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I think she is going to show them when she bends down. Okay. It was like a little flash, but we're okay. No one rat me out to Twitch, okay? God, I'm going to have to edit this VOD for, uh, for YouTube. <laughs> Okay. Do I see anything? I look through this binocular. Oh, they're broken. Okay. All right. Let's go talk to our beautiful wife. Okay. Can I get a little hustle in your step, pal? to retain total financial and political control over their island. Good for them! For example, they've never allowed vehicular traffic anywhere. Everyone walks wherever they go. Uh, use this path. Of this path lies your home. Your beloved Kadalao is probably there for you now. Oh, God. them for like still maintaining most of the control over their island how do i get over there <laughs> oh i need to be past there we go oh boy Kabalao, baby, you shout. Your lover boy Larry is home. Uh-oh, is that a guy? Oh, no, you're not, cries a voice from the over the fence. You don't live here anymore. I found a new lover and filed for divorce. By island law, all I need to do is walk three times in a circle around our bed. I've done that many times over the past few years. <laughs> you are stunned. You had no idea anything was wrong. Oh my god. What do you mean divorce? Walk three times? Oh, Kalalo, say it isn't so. It is so, Larry. I'm leaving you and keeping the house. Now please go and leave us alone. Us? What do you mean us? Are you in the hot tub with someone else? Who is it? Who is it, Kalalo? I'm with Bobby, my new lover. She responds hurtfully. Bobby is able to meet my needs where you never were. Uh, you'll never bore me to sleep again, Larry Laffer. Oh no, my wife. Kalalao, you cry. How could you possibly leave me for another man? <laughs> I did it, you fool, she replies. Bobby's a woman. Good for you. Uh, poor Larry. Not only does Kalalao no longer love you, she's fallen in love with another woman. What could Kalalao possibly see in an Amazonian Harley riding former, former cannibal slot machine repair woman? Uh... Okay, you gave Kalalao the full reign of the design and decorating of your home. Lucky for you, she was the daughter of a king. Kalalao was heavily onto the grocery store checkout line magazine school of architecture. <laughs> oh my god, what a deep burn. Holy crap. Oh my god. Look, wife. She can't, they can't see you over the fence. They can't hear you. They can't hear you over the roar of the bubbles, and they don't want to see or hear you ever again. Okay. Designed by Allo. Hold on. Like, look. The native corporation. Native Zinc is okay. Uh. Designed by Allo. 
sponsored by Aloe. Recovering from Kalalau's shocking news, you carefully consider the alternatives. I suppose I could go into mourning, you think. Mow brown all day, sit in my room, rent lots of videos, things like that. Or I could give up women, remain celibate forever, and enter the, mis the ministry or something. Uh... Oh my god, go MGTOW? Oh my god, MGTOW Larry? Men going their own way. That's what it stands for. Wait a minute, what am I thinking? No way, not me, not Larry, Larry Laffer. You know, this island is a perfect location for a sophisticated single swinger like yours truly. And thanks to the wonderful island tradition, Kalalau's dowry gave me hundreds of acres of potentially valuable forest land. Whoa! Perhaps my love for Kalalau blinded me to the potential of my current locale. Where else can I find more women than, a trop than at a tropical resort? And to think, every one of them came here seeking just one thing, a good time. Yeah, that's it, you exclaim out loud. I've had it with monogamy, marriage, long-term relationships, commitment. So be it. Uh, my life's new goal will be to, to be allow as many women as possible to enjoy me while they can. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think we were ever married. I think we were just dating. Oh. He's back. Yeah, I think he just dated that woman for like a day. Look out, girls! Just when you thought it was safe to dive back into the gene pool, the original swinger is at it again! Okay. Well, no, they were saying that, uh, that we were married by tribal customs, therefore we can get divorced by tribal customs, which is just walking around your bed three times. <gasps> They're gone. Look, mailbox. Yes, it's a mailbox. Open mailbox. Look, mailbox. I love parser games. Uh, God, what do I... Oh, sorry. Look inside mailbox. I'm so sorry. Look at this. It's an envelope from your credit card company. Take letter. God, parser command boxes. Love you. Eagerly, you take the envelope from the mailbox. Could this be a big break from Egg McMahon you've been hoping for? Open. Oh, okay. It's say it's an it's an answer from that credit card company whose application you mailed only 15 weeks ago. Ripping open the envelope, you discover your new credit card. And look, it's in your name only. Hello, can't claim this on community property. Look inside mailbox again. Nothing, okay. You know what I'm happy for Natives Inc. is that they didn't try to make a rapture. They just made a resort. Good for them. Do I still have hair? Yeah, look at the layers little butt. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Alo. Um, lovely lawn. A beautiful specimen granadilla tree grows here. <laughs> Thanks, Des. Look, tree. The uh, granadilla tree is short and graceful with a gray trunk and delicately spreading branches. Beneath its outstretched bows lies a beautiful piece of wood, probably cut by a native long forgotten. Gra 
Graphics by William Skirvin. They have fun with the color palettes with these ones. Down this path lies your office. Say, what about that cute little redhead in accounting? You've always wanted a chance to balance her figures. Hey! It is nearly time to start work. You better hurry, Larry. You're gonna be late again. You know how much Chairman Kenneth hates tardiness. Did I check what the color option does? No, I did not. Okay, look. Oh, there's a casino. Okay. I hope this trouble with Kalalab doesn't influence my excellent working relationship with Chairman Kenneth, you think? Oh, isn't that her dad? <laughs> oh my god. Thanks. Good morning, David, you tell the guard. Another day, another dollar, eh? Perhaps so, Larry Dave replies, but then again, perhaps not. Chairman Kenneth wants you to report to his office immediately. Okay, David, you respond. But to yourself, you think, don't worry, it's probably nothing. I bet he wants to compliment me on my last big ad campaign. Alright, it's like fake Ken Williams. Um, good morning, Mr. Laffer, Chairman Kenneth growls. It's so nice of you to fit a little time into your busy day to drop by and see us here at Native Zinc. Please have a seat. Anywhere but on my couch, he concludes. Perhaps you're wondering why I summoned you here, Laffer, begins Ken. It has nothing to do with the recent ad campaign of yours, although by its appearances you didn't have a hell of a lot to do with it yourself. Oops, this isn't going well. This isn't going that well, is it, Larry? Since you're no longer married to my daughter and your marketing skills are non-existent, I can't, for the life of me, think of reason why I should keep you on here. Uh, in fact, I've been waiting for this moment for quite a long time. I know the perfect way to handle this situation. Oh, he's gonna fire me out of a cannon. How you hate it when he gets that look in his eye. Perhaps I can introdu introduce you to a favorite hobby of mine. He's gonna bowl me! Oh, God! Go dang it, yells Chairman Kenneth. Another 7-10 split. Davy boy, barks Kenneth. Load up my ram, ram disc. I'm gonna take a laptop for a spin today. Well, well, Larry, it seems your ad campaign wasn't the only thing Ke Chairman Kenneth didn't appreciate. Oh, well, you lived off your wits once, and you can do it again. You shake the haze from your brain, slowly rising to your feet and stumble groggily outside. That was humiliating, Larry. You'd vow to never work for him again. Uh... Bowling. No, Larry's fine. You're outside Native Zinc, home of the Island of the Azure Major and only Corporation. You've always been a big fan of steel buildings. I like that you can tell you're like on the right track because of uh the credits are playing. Uh look. There's a beautiful topless woman lying here, sunbathing on her towel. There's something moving in the sand. <gasps> Souvenirs! Souvenirs. Get your Jevin genuine not tunit souvenirs. Oh wow, exclaims Tawny. Souvenirs, what you selling? Genuine plastic souvenirs, hand by <laughs> handmade in the city of <laughs> What was that? Asked the girl. Oh, she put on her top. Okay. Hong Kong, the vendor mumbles under his breath. <laughs> oh, no matter. As long as they're genuine, give me several. You never know when I might when I might get back this way. And I love buying souvenirs. Altogether, that comes to the peddler pauses. 
considering what the market will bear. $300 American, and I'll cover the taxes for you. Really? That expensive? Well, okay, if you say so. Hey, thanks a lot, says the vendor. Have a nice day. Okay, so she, okay. Look, woman, I'm not close enough. Souvenirs, oh, is she just gonna keep getting all of her, her money taken? Okay. Okay, seashells, exactly how your shells different than the ones lying over on Snuffafa Beach. These no longer contaminated with the crude oil sewage mixture we call ocean water. Okay, here's 50 bucks. Okay, come on. Look, woman. Hello, you say the beautiful young girl in the tower. My name's Larry, Larry Laffer. Hello, Larry. My name's Tawny. Oh. Wow, she looks even better vertical. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. Bet, she's, bet she has a great horizontal hold. I don't know what that means. Uh, talk woman. Before you speak, you look straight into her eyes. Talk woman. Have I mentioned, have I mentioned you that I will soon be coming into a major real estate holding? Is it a shopping mall? God, you're very close. Uh, talk woman. What would it take for you to date an, um, uh, older man like me? Larry, I guess I'm just a material girl. Okay, so she likes things. I think this one kind of goes back to Leisure Suit Larry 1, where you just kind of have to you do stuff with women until you get to the, la the last woman, I think. Uh, talk. Is it shopping mall? Um, look, woman. Her magnificent blonde hair haunts you. Too bad there's no one home within it. Oh. Did your lips change? Okay, they did change. Yeah, okay. So we just met this woman. Uh, and she spends money like crazy. Give credit card. Here you go, Tawny. I see you can enjoy sh I see you how you enjoy shopping. I'd like to give have you my give you my credit card. Oh, Larry, cries Tawny. It's the perfect gift. The right size, the right shape, and the right color. Gold. And I think I know the perfect way to express my appreciation to you, too. Come here, big boy. Oh! Man, I really got it. Okay. Souvenirs! God, I'm getting sand in the leisure suit. Oh wow, exclaims Tawny. Souvenirs, what you selling? I have some fine Ginsu knives. Excuse me for a moment, will you? Something else has popped up. Well, you think to yourself that was rude. So what do you think, lady? Wouldn't you like one of these fine Ginsu knives to take home for a souvenir? For you, I'd make a special, dear. Deal. Oh, says Tawny. Is it a really, is it a bargain? I just love bargains. Most assuredly so, says the peddler. It's made with hand-rubbed hickory handles and a blade of the finest sheffled carbonized steel drawn from the hottest 100-year-old oak charcoal fires honed to perfection by small oriental virgins and guaranteed for life. Or until you leave this beach, whatever comes first. <laughs> oh, God. I'll take it. Does it come in a carrying case? No. That'll be $30. Let me see now. Oh, gosh, I've only got 20 bucks in cash left. Oh wait, I do, I do have this nice shiny new credit card. Hey, hold this knife for me, will you? Thanks ever so much, madame, says the native sliding his imprinter over your former credit card. Oh my god. Those machines are wild. 
Um, it's a pleasure doing business with a real pro. Turning back to you, Tani says, I'm so sorry for my interruptus, my little shopper whopper. <laughs> so I'm going to call anyone who sends me donation money. I'm going to call you a shopper whopper. But, you know, I just can't resist a purchase. And now where were we? He paused to contemplate her rude behavior. Were you too offended by her thoughtless interruption to continue making love on the, on the, to the beautiful young Tawny? Nope. <laughs> All right, King. Yep. This is what the beach is like. Suddenly become aware of the hundreds of tiny sand crabs that have been crawling inside your leisure suit pants for since you first lay down in the sand. Yow! You scream. Quick, get it off me. Is my lovemaking that good for you, my little middle-aged mall man? Says Tawny. Oh, look at the little dance. Go whole dang it, you cried. Tawny, I've got a terrible case of crabs! No! Crab shots, Tony? I should have known better than to do anything with a local, especially an older local, and a pudgy older local at that. As you pull a large crab, large crab from your pants, Tony says, like, man, I refuse to party with any guy so socially irresponsible. Get lost, Flacido Domingo. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. Uh, save game. Crab rave. Cray brave. Oh my god. Okay. Book. Fountain. Isn't it beautiful? Okay. perfect for slicing your ginsu if it weren't so dull. What the hell is a ginsu anyway? So I need to sharpen the knife. Uh, look upstairs. Made of smooth concrete, as smooth as a star burning shone. Sharpen knife. God, I cannot spell. Oh my god. You rub your dull Ginsu knife back and forth on the smooth concrete steps of the casino. You need water. I'm really glad we have this animation. Much to your surprise, it becomes razor sharp. Without thinking, you hastily shove it back into your pocket. Ow! Oh, yeah, one of those infomercial knives? That makes sense. Inside the casino. Yo, what is this? this is huge. Okay, I can only go forward. Uh, look, painting. Oh, it's a naked woman. Uh. get lost in the casino.
not not too near famous striptease joint. Chippendales, a large cliff mostly prevents your passage to the west. In the center of this area is a large clump of island glass. There's a sign on the door. Read a sign. Chippendales, uh, Nontunian's finest adult entertainment. Closed. Look. Grass. Long, slender, and beautiful as the island's indigenous grass one, uh, was once worn by the natives as a ritual costume. Now they mostly just order from L.L. Bean. <laughs> Take grass. Take. Sorry, 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 hold on. Touch grass. I don't have it! <laughs> uh, take grass. Oh my god, get in there. The tr- the tough? Tropical island grass slices your hands to ribbon, ribbons but refuses to buzz. Use knife on grass. Cut grass with knife. Oh your razor sharp Ginsu knife slices through the blades of grass like a hot samurai sword through a tub of cheap margarine. Okay, now touch grass. What? Uh, look. You're outside the world famous comedy hut, the fast food of comedy clubs. They appear to be open. Let's see. Touch grass. Yeah, you buy it once, you buy it for life. Look. The world famous comedy hut is filled with people having a mildly uproarious time. Sit. Move in front of the table so- oh god. Sit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the, ward, the world famous comedy hut is proud to present the legend in his own mind, Paul Paul! Good evening, ladies and germs, says Paul. Always a snappy starter. Okay, folks, we're gonna try something different tonight. Tell me the name of your three favorite ethnic groups. It doesn't matter to me which one you choose. I've got enough jokes to insult anyone! No! <laughs> grass to keep the cheerleaders from grazing during halftime. Ah, the French woman on her way home from the market was carrying a duck when a drunk staggered up to her and said, hey, where'd you get that pig? And the French woman replied, you drunken fool, that's no pig, it's a duck. And the drunk said, quiet French, quiet the French, I was talking to the duck. The French man was so stupid. He studied all weekend for his urine test. <laughs> oh my god. You tell the best thing about sleeping alone? You can have sex anytime you want. Wait, make fun of make fun of furries. My wife is so ugly, a peeping tom threw up on her window ledge. Why'd the French pervert cross the <laughs> 
why did the the French pervert cross the road? <laughs> oh my god. Because he was stuck on the bag of a chicken. Did you hear about the VTuber man who was so lazy? He married a pregnant woman. <laughs> Being an atheist? You have no idea. Do you know what to do? <laughs> I don't know why this is so stupid, it's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. credit card stolen, but tonight I learned this furry guy took it, but I'm not gonna turn him in. He spends a lot less per month than she did. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, a VTuber's man was talking with a... <laughs> ah, a VTuber's man was talking with a... the French man. I'm so unlucky. The, the French man asked, really? Why do you say that? Why, it's just last night that beautiful hunchback girl stood me up and after I bought her flowers, dug the hole and everything. Women. As a furry's virgin? <laughs> She's the one that covered faster than her brother. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you know how to break on the French man's finger? Punch him in the nose. Did I tell you the one about the VTubers guy who was messing around with his sister in law? He really had it in for his brother. Won the, the French beauty pageant? No one. Oh my god. The elderly couple were just- This is so long! An elderly couple were just finishing their annual physical exam. Their doctor proclaimed them in perfect health, but the white says, what, Doc, what can we do? I'm afraid we're gonna catch the AIDS virus. Oh boy. The doctor responded, Don't worry, there's no way you, you could be in a high-risk group. But doctor... Remember, we do have any real sex. <laughs> How long is this gonna be? What's two hours of begging? The French for <laughs> guy who won a gold medal in the last Olympics? He had it bronzed! Oh, my head hurts. Do you know where the furries guy hides its money? Under the soap! Oh, because they're smelly. <laughs> uh, did you hear about the unlucky VTubers guy? He filed for divorce because he lived in a two-story house. One story said was, I'm not in the mood, and the other one was, I've got a headache. How do you sink a VTuber's battleship? Put it in water! <laughs> Is that being like their navy's bad? Do you know how to take a census in a furry neighborhood? Easy! Flood the basements! <laughs> oh my god. These would be bad if I didn't pick fake ethnic groups. A furry man walks into a bar with a pig under his arm. The, the, the bartender says, did you win him in a raffle? And the pig replied, yup. a dead dog and, and a dead furry lying in the middle of the highway. There's skid marks in front of the dog. Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! How long is this thing? I just learned the difference between moral sex and sushi. And I bet you're gonna tell me!
Please tell me this is over. No! I knew how to get 25 of the French guys in a phone booth. Throw in a dollar! Oh my god. Do I have water? My wife bought us a new water bag. I call it the Dead Sea. <laughs> What's the difference between two French terrorists? Two terrorists and two the French women with PMS. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, please. This is so long. Why did the chicken cross the basketball court? We heard the referee was blowing fouls. young lumberjack had a terrible accident with his chainsaw went to the doctor's office for stitches. And the doctor began to apply an, an anesthetic and the lumberjack just laughed. Ah, don't worry, I won't be need painkillers for any little old wound like this. And the doctor replied, son, are, is this, son, this is gonna hurt a lot, are you sure? Of course I'm sure, said the lumberjack. Why, in my entire life I've only felt pain twice. Once when I squatted down to relieve myself in the woods and got my testicles caught in a bear trap. <laughs> the doctor said, oh my god, it's terrible. When was the second time? When I reached the end of that chain. Yeah, this is the uh, 1989 comedy special. Once the VTubers football team played the Furries football team, at the end of three quarters, the score was tied. Nothing to nothing. Just the, then, a, then a train went by. The VTubers team heard a whistle and thought the game was over and went home. Six plays later, the furry team scored. Please let this be over. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yesterday I went to the meat department in that new cannibal supermarket down by the beautiful uh, Nachinya Island. They were running special on human brains. Oh my god. Okay, VTuber, furry brains are $4.99 a pound, and VTubers brains are $6.99 a pound. How could the French brains be $39 a pound? He replied, don't you know how many of the French guys have got to go through to get a pound of brains? Ah. Okay, come on, come on. I'm gonna start skipping through these, unless they seem really racist. Okay, how do you recognize the bride of the French wedding? She's the one with braided armpit hair! Oh, they, okay, gay pills, okay. Oh my god, I'm just, oh my god, how, we're gonna just start. Does this end? Does this end? Seriously? Or do I need to leave? <clears throat> mm. Oh, I got a hundred. Wait, you turned into a duck. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Paul. Look, he's getting a sitting ovation. Clap. Oh, okay, wait until the comic's on stage. Stand. The world famous comedy hut. Why do you say that to- okay. Talk to who? people? Hello, you say. There's no response. Uh, wait, like, talk to guests? Talk 
two guys. Talk to man. So what do you want to say? How about if you and I sit in that comedy club and we make Larry walk up to us and say something like, Hello! Hello, A, says Bill. Are you crazy? No way. That's so lame. Harry would never say that. Oh. Yeah, and I suppose you're right, says Al. This is not a good idea. Let's get out of here. Hello, really? Oh. <laughs> that was Al Lowe and uh, another guy. I forget who exactly he did. Okay. Hmm. Oh my god. The comedy special got me. I really do appreciate that they have- they absolve themselves from actually really offending people, just having you put in your own ethnic groups. Changing cabana, which bears an amazing resemblance to an outhouse, is nestled in, gro in a grove of trees. the garbage in the can only to discover a postcard saying the weather is here the weather is here wish you beautiful you return it to the trash <laughs> oh my god okay okay um oh hold on hold on Okay, so turn grass into skirt. You carefully weave the wild grass into what you hope will pass for a primitive island. Oh my- Oh! Oh god! Uh! Ah! Uh, don't look at it! <laughs> you will hold me <laughs> permanent island name is- Oh! That- that- Oh god. Slipping into the grass skirt. Boy, do you look like a native now. Whoa. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Look. Sink. The public sink is mounted on the side of the cabana. A bar of soap hangs over the sink, suspended by a rope looped over a nail. Take soap. 
Okay, when I have pants. Okay, I remember where the beach is. Oh, okay. Headlines Fat City, the island's famous health spa. Is that symbolism or what? Okay, that is. Not expecting the whale. Got it. He's a souvenirs. Souvenirs. Get your genuine no to knit souvenirs. Oh wow! Exclaimed Tony. Souvenirs. What you selling? Genuine Native Islander designed, labeled erotic carvings for only twenty dollars. You cry, but you better hurry. I only have one left. Well, Tony, I might be interested. Does it have any special features? Oh God. Your disguise seems to be working, Larry. Tani doesn't recognize you. No, but it is handmade. Uh, god dang it, it's a deal, she says. I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. Okay. You're lucky, I'm down to my last 20 bucks, says Tani. Here you are. Thank you very much, Mitch. Uh, and use it in good health. <laughs> Okay. I got $20. She is my credit card, which is tied to my credit score, but I got $20. Change into suit. All right, since you know for the use for the silly grass skirt, you toss it through the hole conveniently placed on the floor. You presume it is for this purpose. Uh, take soap. Grab the unusually shaped soap on a rope that hangs above the sink. God, I don't like beaches. I don't like sand in my shoes. Ugh. Ugh. Sand. Gross. Hell yeah, free towel. Take towel. It does, it does. Okay.
free towel. Oh, wait. Okay. They use color really nicely in this one. Like looking at the beach, but just not being on it. Ooh. Look. Mirror. You see yourself looking back. After everything, it's still you. Casino showroom is basically empty except for a man standing behind a podium. Uh, talk to man. Hello, sir. You say with the to the math D. My name is Larry, Larry Laffer. Could you give me information about the show inside? The maitre D responds, if you would like to see tonight's show, you'll have you'll have to have a ticket, of course. Some of the local tourist magazines contain free passes. If you have no ticket, you might want to try one of those. You didn't tell me what the show is. Do I... do I have one? I have my copy of Not, uh, Not Yet Tonight right here. Okay. Oh, really? Well, for tonight's show, I'm allowed to accept free passes only from our ad on page 19. What's the number of pass on that page? Okay, so this is copy protection. So he says it's page 19. So my pass is uh, 33794. Let me look through the number of passes and numbers. Very well, good sir, says the Matadi. His tone and manners is changing entirely, but I must have made a mistake. It appears there are no more seats available for the show. I'm so sorry, but perhaps something will open up later. Um. Oh. He's holding out money. Tip man. Why, oh, thank you so much, sir. Well, look at this. I seem to have found a nice front row seat available here. Allow me to show you to your seat. You quickly make your way through a crowd of men and take one of the few remaining seats near the rear of the showroom. The announcer voice booms over the public address system. And now, oh, that's what a PA stands for? And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the star of our show, Miss Cherry Tart. Oh. Evidence of the men in the audience like Cherry's act as they begin to toss dollar bills on the stage. Oh, she's spinning. Isn't she wonderful, ladies and gentlemen, screams the announcer. Let's really hear it for our own little Cherry Tart. You know, I'm not an expert on uh strippers but that was not a very that was not a very good performance she just spun around a lot and not in the fun way oh and then she disappears back into the floor 
That concludes tonight's two hour spectacle. Not new news for you. You must clear the auditorium now as our second show begins shortly. Good seats are still available, so tell your friends. There wasn't even a poll. Alright, good night and walk safely home. What a show, eh, Larry? Too bad you came in so late, you only saw the last minute. What a show, eh, buddy? Slurps the major D. How about that cherry tart? Okay, hold on. Let's save. Ooh, she dancing. Standing here, but uh, uh, you'd walk over to her. Okay. Uh, look, woman. Look, woman. Hello, beautiful. I loved your dancing. You saved the gorgeous woman in the dressing gown. My name is Larry, Larry Laffer. Hello yourself, Larry, replies the bathrobed beauty, turning to face you. I'm Cherry Tart. Ooh! <gasps> The shoulder action? Talk, woman. So Sherry, tell me what you want with your life. I'd love to quit show business, get a little farm someplace out in the country where I can be alone and raise organically grown vegetables, fruits, and herbs. Oh, Sherry, I'm the opposite. I have hundreds of acres of land coming into my own possession soon, but I'd love to be in show business. Oh, Larry, you're so lucky. How I wish I could have some land. Alright, um... Alright. Give woman my land. You know what? I think I have some land coming to me from a recent cough cough uh, legal development. I really have no use for it. Would you like a few acres? Ah, oh, do I? Why, Larry, I'd do anything for that little piece of land. But I must run. I must get ready for the next show. I've certainly enjoyed our little chat together, Larry, and I'll look forward to hearing from you again soon. Now, if you'll pardon me, I must head backstage. Our stage manager has such a short fuge for a guy with a sour disposition. When you get the deed to the land, just knock softly on that door over there. And I'll be waiting at the door till then. It's that easy, huh? Oh, Larry, Sherry cries. I can just picture my little country place now. It has no infrastructure, Cherry. I'm gonna I'm gonna rough it outside. It's like I, I don't think there's infrastructure. Tropical sun warms you all over. You know, a guy could really get a nice suntan here. Now your tan looks marvelous. Okay, uh, stand. I just, they just play the animation in reverse so his clothes just fly back on. You didn't see anything, but I'm just, I'm truly... I'm truly terrified. Okay, let's see. It's slightly moist. 
Christ. not like how they did these uh, paths. sketch took like so much of our time in this playthrough um okay can I go faster oh they oh we got some hustle there's some freaking hustle Larry let's go Uh, we told a woman will sleep with us if we give her acres of land. private land for your land. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! Wait. Did I just hit? There must not be a path that way. Oh, okay. Because that's where that one. under your feet. Okay. So I need to find... I'm trying to figure out a path. Oh! God, how was I supposed to know that's there? Ugh, okay. God, it's behind a tree. You're outside the legal offices of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe, the best corporation of associated legal professionals on the island of Dot Tunyik. And also the only. Whoa! 
Oh, look at those doors. Oh, it's for the hint book. Okay. Look. You are in the offices of the distinguished legal island legal firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. There's a male receptionist sitting at the table. Talk, man. Is there a loyal lawyer available to, that could help me? You ask the clerk. Oh, uh, why? Yes, we have someone available. What specifically do you want, sir? We have all sorts of attorneys here. It is Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. So go right on in. Her door's just behind me, and I'll tell her you're on your way in. Ah, uh, these games. Oh, hello. Good day, Mr. Laffer, says the attorney from her desk with a smile. I'm Susie Cheatham. How may I help you? Please make yourself at home. Have a seat on my couch. Consultation is always free, but then you owe me for any work I do. I'm sure you understand. Look, woman. Ooh. I don't like that their nostrils flare. Now you can see why Susie Cheatham is known as the Queen of Torts. take care of everything. My standard divorce runs $500, and of course, I expect to be paid in cash. Oh, by the way, okay, um, ask for deed? Um, ask for Allow was a wonderful woman and brought 
our marriage a considerable dowry consisting of a few no loan mutual funds and extensive real estate holdings. I was wondering if there were any easy way for me to get my hands on that land. I've heard of some ancient island tradition concerning men and real property. Say no more, Mr. Laffer. I know exactly what you mean. According to ancient island custom, any land owned by either or both spouses upon dissolution of the marriage becomes the exclusive property of the male member of the household. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Laughter. You're now the owner of a considerable chunk of Nanutnit land real estate. I'll make the necessary arrangements and have um, Roger, my secretary, uh, boilerplate the papers for you. land deed okay all right you guys time to buy me a woman god Ugh, do not miss the like hiding the paths behind trees era of sierra games not a grand old time Happy we stopped doing that. Oh, we're booking it. Look at that little butt go. personnel only sign on the stage door. You knock soft, you, you softly knock once, twice, three times. You hope Cherry is true to her word. A small voice whispers to the door. Larry, is that you? Been 
to yourselves. Oh, thank heavens, it's Cherry. He whispered through the door. Yes, Cherry, it's me, Larry, Larry Laffer. Oh, Larry, you've been, I've been waiting for you to return. Did you get the deed? I've got it right here, sweetheart, you respond. And I think you know how, uh, just how much I'd like to give it to you. Now this is your big ch chance. Now you can give you up show business and move to your own little place out in the country. Oh, Larry, 640 acres of virgin nut nut land forest, perfectly suited for slash burning and typical agricultural pillage. You've just made me the happiest woman on earth. Come on backstage and allow me properly to express my appreciation. Yeah. <laughs> you chuckle. It looks like I'm gonna get get a little something for Kalalau's worthless farmland after all. Larry, you're so wonderful. You've given me what I always wanted. Why is her text red? Oh, I think you know what I've always wanted. Cherry smiles at you. Uh, um, in the darkness. At last, I'll be able to remove this costume to never wear it again. Modest, hurry up, Larry. The second show's about to start. You consider her, but not for long. Whoa! Oh, Larry, don't you love the real estate business? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, Larry, I could go like this all night. That's a okay, that's a lot of. You're the only one! <laughs> Who turned out that light? What's the drum roll? Oh, we're gonna be banging on stage. Oh no, quick Larry, get dressed. The second show is starting. You both scramble to find, sort, and wear whatever articles of clothing you can. Oh, Jesus, Stark Cherry, what? I can't tell what's what. The public addressing system booms. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, uh, God, Nitinyets for you. Our spectacular tribute to the thing we all love the most. Where's my pants? The announcer voice booms over the public address system. And now, lady and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the star of our show, Miss Cherry Tart. God dang it! You scream, hundreds of people. You scream, people, hundreds of people, and everyone's staring at me. You're caught, Larry, and Red Handy too, wearing Sherry's costume. Oh. My God, ladies and gentlemen, the star of our show is Cherry Tart. In your hurry to dress in the darkness backstage, you must have grabbed the wrong clothes. So that's why your underwear was such a tight fit. Our star, Cherry Tart. Cherry! You walk to the beginning of the runway. Oh my God. Well, Larry, you've done it again. Now what are you gonna do? Dance. Oh, um. Oh, dance. Summoning up all your courage, you begin to wiggle your way down the runway. Why am I blue? Oh, okay, it's the lights. Whoa! Oh my god, we're so we're a way better dancer than the cherry. <gasps> They're throwing dollar bills. They're throwing money at you. They like you. They really like you. Yeah! Oh my god, Larry, this is your calling. He's a way better dancer than Cherry. Time in which you dance and dance, meanwhile, picking up many $1 bills. You dance until your legs just can't take it any longer, which isn't really that long considering you're wearing a pair of high heels three sizes too small. <laughs> the Major D wisecracks. You seem to have been a big hit with the audience. 500 to $100. One hundred, five hundred one dollar bills ain't bad for your first night. Oh, I got to have all that fun and make money. Why that was even better than being a programmer for Sierra Online. Oh my, oh my God. God, this is, this is great. I am so 
happy we we're playing. I'm so happy we're playing this franchise. This is fun. Nothing quite like um, being in a carnival costume while also dodging nudity with a sensor. Oh. Okay, so we got $500, which means we go to Cherry. We go to uh, Susie Cheatham. Honestly, $500 for a lawyer ain't bad. Oh my god. Nope, oh, wrong thing. <laughs> Once we got to the racist joke power hour, yeah. Talk to clerk. I'm back, Roger. You beat the clerk. Uh, nice to see you, Mr. Laffer. Did you bring $500 with you? I did. Yes. Here's the $500 Miss Cheatham requested. You tell the receptionist. May I please meet with her to finalize my divorce now? I certainly, Mr. Laffer, replies the receptionist. Walk right in. Uh, Miss Cheatham will be happy to talk to you now. Oh, by the way, nice outfit, Mr. Laffer. <laughs> I'm back, Mrs. Cheatham, you say, and I like my divorce papers. Oh, no. Susie's eyes widen as she spies your new outfit. Oh, Larry, I had no idea you enjoyed cross-dressing, too. What does she mean, too? I don't know where this is going and I'm worried. You know, nothing turns me on like wearing men's underwear, she cries. You were stunned. You had no idea. Dazed, you head for the sofa. Yes, yes, Susie says. Do sit down, Mr. Laffer. Make yourself comfortable, Larry. You wouldn't mind if I called you Larry, would you? No, Larry's fine, I suppose. Let me do assure our confidentiality, Larry. I'd hate for anyone to vol violate the privacy of my attorney-client relationships. Oh, I think she's gonna violate something else that's private. Would you mind if I slip out of this hat, you you ask her? Keep it on. Hat stays on. Hat stays on. Feel free to slip out of whatever you wish. You carefully remove the gigantic feathered hat from your head and place it at your feet. You may have come here expecting a divorce, but it looks like you're gonna get some more than legalese. And now it's time for me to get comfortable too, says Susie. I'm worried about this. Let me just put on the little... Okay. How do you like women in men's undergarments? Okay. Uh, you reply, actually, I think I'd love you in mine. Enough of this legalistic form play, Larry. What do you say we spend the rest of the afternoon going through your briefs? Oh! <gasps> We're banging behind the hat. Okay. I was. I didn't. Oh my god. The. F the, f the f Ooh! Was that a camera? Or a phone? What is happening? Hey, Susie, you cry. What's that? Oh, excuse me for just a moment. I have to, I have a telephone call. May I put you on hold? <gasps> now, dear, Susie says to you, where were we? Think to yourself, I've had lawyers do this to me before, but this is the first time. Oh. Oh no, I suppose I could have Roger hold my calls. It'd be nice if someone got to hold something around here. You know what? Good for s Okay. Where were we? Oh no, says Susie. I better write myself a note before that conversation slips my mind. It'd be nice if something started slipping around here. <laughs> there, all done. <laughs> Not again. I'm just so busy. Oh my god. 
Now, dear, where were we? You've had just about all of this you could take. She's taking notes. There, all done. Oh, wait, she says, I better fax Roger a memo about the last conversation. <laughs> she is talented. God dang it, you cry. If you're this busy, why don't I come again later? And you don't mean that figuratively. Susie covers the phone with her hand and whispers, Sure, okay, good idea. Call me anytime. As soon as I prepare your divorce papers, you may pick them up from Roger, my secretary. We must get together again soon. From what I've seen of you, I'd love to try to squeeze you into my agenda. Wriggling your way out of her grasp, you grab your tall feathered hat from the floor and slip out of the office door. The problem is, Susie's docket is just too full. Poor Larry, you've experienced the agony, agony of clientus interruptus. Ask for papers. Um... Larry, give me a little time, will you? Paper okay, okay, so I leave. I, I'm pretty sure everyone is gonna end with an interruptus joke. I'm glad you asked Mr. Laughter. They're all set. Here you are. And Miss Cheatham told me to tell you what a it was a bus it was a business doing pleasure with you. Thank you. I can read. Ugh. Okay, look at divorce papers. Well, well, looks like, look at this, somehow Susie Cheatham's Fat City membership card got mixed up in these papers. What a sleuth you are. Oh, that was the health spa. I don't really know how I, like, I guess good for, for Susie. I don't know. I don't know what, okay. I was honestly expecting the joke to be way worse about her being like a cross-dresser. Uh, pleasure business. Eh, there we go. Okay, I need, I need my clothes back. Yeah, handled suspiciously... Suspiciously well. Oh yeah, it's eerily quiet again. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like real, I'm, I'm really dreading some of the later games with just the leg. Man, that that's that that's up there. God, you look so great, Larry. Open door. Oh, is that my suit? Okay, wear suit. Ah, now that feels like home. Okay, uh, suit. Alright. Alright, let's go. We got the we got the we got the membership card.
Okay, so that one was... I believe it was... Oh, I remember that, where it was. Okay, so that one's Chippendales. I believe this one's the Fat City. The whale is terrifying. Uh, look. You're inside the lobby of Fat City, the island's newest and brightest health spa. Okay. Talk. Clerk. Hello, says Robin. Go in town? Um. Tanning booth. Uh, look. Key card. Okay, member of good standing. Insert wait for click. Read door. Um. Use card. Okay, she wrote her locker number plus some words on the back of her card. Okay. A closer examination reveals the word Fat City, Piggy's Coffee Shop, and the pink- the punk flamingo. Now what could that possibly mean? Okay. Fat City, Piggy's Coffee Shop, punk flamingo. Okay, so... Wait. Fine, I'll write this down. Hold on, I'll write this freaking stuff down. Okay, game. Yelling at me. Okay, we got Fat City. Piggies. And Punk. Okay. Um. Okay, find locker. You're freezing, not even close. Okay. Getting there. God, look at these. Um, open locker. You clear the mechanism by quickly spinning the lock several turns to the right. Which three numbers do you wish to try? Okay, so this is. More manual copy protection stuff, uh, based on the stuff that she has written on the back of her card. So the first one was Fat City, so that's 23. Second number is Piggies, which is 18. And then the Punk Flamingo is 2. You carefully turn the dial to the right until you reach the number 23. All the way around past 23, you read 18. Blah, blah, blah. You did it! 
open locker. It is. Look, locker. The lockers are made of steel paint. Okay, look inside locker. There's a photo of a scantily clad Tom Selleck, some spray deodorant, and a set of women's sweats. Okay. Take photo. You have all the photos of Tom Selleck that you need? No, I want more. Okay, take zero. Oh, take. Great. Gosh, don't you look sweet in a pair of newly larger women's sweats? Oh, I made. I, okay, do I. Okay, so which one of these? Uh, okay, so that's machines. Oh, hold on. Uh, sweat. Oh, okay, that's the shower. Okay. Man, I love it when the music disappears. Okay, uh, use machine. There are four separate workout stations on Fat City's exercise equipment. The leg curl bench, the bench press, weightlifting bench, the pull-up station, and the pull bar. Use machine. Use the cursor keys until you work up a sweat. Oh my god. Truly, this is Pete gaming. Am I sweating yet? Oh, do I need to? Do I? Oh, okay, I've done 11, oh. Okay, so it wasn't about speed. Yeah, we need like some workout music. Okay, do, have I worked up a sweat yet? Okay, I think that's um stand. No pain, no gain. Let's get down, let's get down. It's the eye of the copyright strike because I'm singing this song. Pumped over. Oh, okay, you just have to do 11. Um, what is this? Man, it's eerily quiet. What's the other machine? Okay, done 11. Uh, stand. What was the final one? Oh, it was like leg curls. Is it here? Smile, this is supposed to be fun. Do 
Stand. Boy, oh boy, this exercise stuff really works. Why you look, you you look and feel like a new man. Oh, what's happening? That's how it happens. Whoa. Well, look at this. It's the incredible dork. Oh my god, the titties. There they are, the pulsating pectorals. You could you could learn to like this. Maybe you can enter one of those contests. Yeah! Oops! The new body has sprung a leak. Wait. Well, who would want to be that that pumped up anyway? At least you're no longer overweight. Why? Just take a look at yourself. That gut of yours is gone. Look at those muscles. What a hunk. Oh god, I need to remember the numbers. Uh, god, that's so mean. Okay, Fat City, Piggies is 18, and then 2. Look inside locker. Um, you're wearing the size of the locker. Congratulations, you're you're quickly turning this family-oriented entertainment software into an X-rated game. Next thing you know, you'll probably begin to enjoy walking around like this. Then where will we be? Oh god. Uh is there a towel? Oh right, I own a towel. Oh, look at how beefy I am! Beef. You know what Tom said? Look at me! Oh my god! You hang your towel just inside the head. Uh, uh. Oh my god. It's censored, but oh my god. Oh my god. So, uh, turn on. What an angle! The boss is near the top of the screen. Use soap. You were wise to bring your soap on a rope into the shower with it. You carefully rub it all over your body. Soon it's gone. Oh, the Magnum P.I. Beach Glamour. <laughs> That's not censored? Oh my- Really? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god, Larry's out here hanging dong at the filthy level. Okay. Um, turn off shower. Oh, uh, leave? How do I leave? Okay, okay. Number is 23, 18, 2. Women. <laughs> well, 
use deodorant. Oh my god. D. Can I not spell deodorant? Ah! <laughs> Look! Pshhh! Spray on some deodorant and then return the can to the locker. Wear suit? <gasps> oh! I forgot- God! I'm so happy. Close locker. I, oh no! It, it's it's a uh, it, it locks automatically. God, what a angle! Turn on shower. Use soap. Turn off if. God, what an angle! Yes, it's, it's dong o'clock. Can't someone just leave their locker open without someone stealing it? Okay, dry off. Open locker. Uh, 23, 18, 2. Use, oh god, I have to D. Yeah, I remember to spell it. Okay, wear suit. Alright, ready to face the world of women. If you didn't walk around your car before getting it into drive, you have a breakdown. <laughs> Uh, I believe that's everything I need. Oh my god, look at me! No, I was gonna play it with Ren, uh, but my computer was just like actively breaking uh, at that time, so we never actually got to play it on the um, holiest of holy days. Women. God, I'm like all shoulders now. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to leave. Okay, so we... Um... Oh, the tanning booth's out of order. We will get it fixed real soon. Oh. Okay, look. You're in Fat City's aerobic studio, which is presently filled with audio video equipment. It looks like someone recently was making a video here. So is there anyone in here? Bam, bam, bam. 
Oh, hold on. Like, read door? Aerobic studio. There's supposed to be a woman in there, which is what I always say when I think about women. Okay. Sorry. I will be right back. I need to go grab some more water because my throat is hoarse from that stupid comedy scene. <laughs>
fight sit. That's what the game is telling me. Okay. I do not know where that woman's not appearing. Just like every other woman in my life. Could it be called a good magic? She just disappeared. I too also love the little Jojo paw. Ah! Can't believe people are using. Oh. Look, stage? Look, camera? I don't know where to get this woman. so much for stopping by. Okay, let's see. Okay, this one. Oh! Okay, look. What an interesting park. A lovely television set sits beneath attractive hanging laps facing a park bench, all situated near a gurgling stream. Look, table? Read newspaper. Take newspaper. All right, we're learning. Now appearing in the casino lounge, passionate Patty, keyboard and sing-along star of the five continents, even appeared on Star Search. Okay. Stand. Uh, use TV. Turn on TV. Watch TV. Oh! Okay, there's just nothing. Look, stream. Natives Inc. have created a lovely waterfall using the untreated effluence of their sewage. Okay. Hi, Waltab! Oh wow, a whole year and a half already? Oh, God. I'm so glad I've known you for this long and I look forward to more. It's... that feels like so much time and yet not... oh my god, a year and a half? Oh my god. Makes me want to commit a few war crimes of my own. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are seducing women. Oh my god, we're gonna go back to Fallout 2. We were a bit derailed because my cat decided to get, um, decided to have lung problems. Uh, read menu? The announcement board lists the drink specials of the day in a vivid fluorescent ink. Okay. 
uh, look. Unusual walls rise to a sculpture ceiling that descends upon the stool before the grand piano. Seated before you is none other than the queen of the keyboard, the irresistible instrumentalist of the ivories, the sultress of the Steinway, the babe of the Bossendorfer, passionate Patty. Look, woman. Sit. Look, woman. Hello, beautiful, you say to the pianist. My name's Larry. Larry Laffer. And hello to you, Larry, replies Passionate Patty. I'm the girl of your dreams, Passionate Patty. <sighs> She's beautiful. I don't like the nostril flares. It's like my least favorite thing. Look, woman. Before you sits the latest girl of your dreams, the world famous piano bar entertainer, Passionate Patty. Talk, woman. I don't like them flaring with so little animation. Larry, you won't get much out of life if you don't go for it. You know, Larry, I always say it's not the men in your life that count. It's the life, it's, it's the life in your men. Okay. Look, it's the 80s. Um... Hiss. No, not kill! never experienced that until you've had me. How do I... donated by enthusiastic fans. I have no money. Yeah, I don't know what noses are either. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. Oh my god, it's daily savings tomorrow. And I work at 6.30 in the morning. And I'm gonna want to... Uh, bash my head in with a brick. I genuinely do not understand why people with... Daylight savings time tomorrow. Okay, look. Flowers. Garlands of the wild orchids festoon the otherwise bare rock walls. You bet your FTD man wishes he were here. I don't know what that means. Okay. 
Isn't this like the last daylight savings time in America? Aren't we not doing that anymore? Which, man, it's gonna be fun when everyone gets really mad. That like the oh god wait if we if we don't fall back then that means it gets darker sooner or later I don't know how time works I don't know man just everyone doesn't like daylight savings time but then they're gonna realize how uh, not fun where am I going Oh, right, I want to go to the hell spa. Daylight savings time, more like damn this sucks time. Thanks, got him. I just don't understand. I've, I've worked for several places that do brunch or breakfast things. Just... Just, 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 st stay, stay, open, th open at 10. If you open at 9, normally open at 10. No one's gonna show up at 9. Okay, I don't know, I don't... I don't know, I will, I will actually, uh, eat a handful of raw flour if anyone shows up at my job between the hours of 9 and 10 a.m. Okay. I am not sitting down for another hour of comedy. Kids into a beautiful lay. Let's go. Do you think this lay is gonna get me laid? Didn't care for that joke. Okay. stream. You can't, you're not allowed to boo me. Uh, six. Wait. Oh. Look, woman. Um, divorce papers? Oh, show. Why? Patty, please accept these flowers and let's get together tonight when you're off work. No, Larry, not now. Although I have a soft spot in my heart for orchids, I'm growing more fond of you every moment we're together. I could never date a married man. Okay. Show. What? Do I not have them? Divorce decree. Patty, 
look, I did it. My divorce is finalized. Here, take it. Frame this thing and mount it here on your piano. Congratulations, Larry. Did I mention how much earlier how much I love single men? Suddenly you become a lot more interesting, mate. We should get together sometime. Also, um, okay, stand. Look, piano. She's supposed to have sex with me. Patty. Wait, do I still have, did she not take the flowers? Oh no, she didn't, oh, she didn't take the flowers. Look. Oh my God, look, woman. Talk, woman. Give lay to woman. Patty, please, where my lay tonight for me alone? Oh, Larry, thank you. You're such a charmer. I'm ready. What do you want to do? Leave? Wait. Oh my god, have sex with me. What? Flirt. You're too smart for this game? she have sex with me? I did everything right. Dude, this room rules. I'm no longer an employee. I did! What's her problem? Look, woman. this woman here either. Where are all the women? God, why are the women running away from my natural charisma? Okay. 
how many flowers can it take? Okay, we weave them into a beautiful A. I just don't understand. I said the right things, I did the right things, and she won't sleep with me. Why? God, are women really this picky? woman okay a good man is hard to find but a hard man is good to find <laughs> tell me what you want towards a hard man it's not the men in your life that count, it's the life in your men. Women. My divorce is finalized. Okay, take the photo, frame it. Okay. Give lay. Penthouse? Yes, Slayer, I do live in the penthouse here. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, well, what the hell? It's getting late. I'm ready to quit for the night, and you're looking better all the time. Sure, let's go. Here, Larry, take the key to my suite, says Beth. I'll slip out to the back way and use the service elevator. Just wait a few minutes before you come upstairs. I'd like to slip into something uh, comfortable. Like your flowers. Oh. Okay, she says over her shoulder. No offense, of course. Ah, she needs a drink. Okay. Okay, we gotta find some booze. Read menu. Find woman. Talk woman. <laughs> I feel like I'm really regressing back to my like native instincts when I just type look woman, talk woman. <laughs> Unga woman. <laughs> Kidnap woman. All right. Thank you. 
Bum 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 bum. Aha! Eh. Take wine. Oh my god. Take wine. I was wine in quotes. So... <laughs> hey, Kelmia, how goes the real quest for glory? Oh, we're, 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 there's a lot of glory going on over here. Hi, Og, how are you doing? Thank you for 21 months, oh my gosh. As you can see, I'm about to court a woman. It's like three sh I know, it's wild. God, I still don't believe that I've been like streaming that long. All right, there's over here. Like, I just reached 25 months with Tazzle, and we both, me and Tazzle, sub to each other. I'm sorry, sir, but this is a private hotel. Okay. Use elevator. Yeah, February 2021 was my first stream. Yeah, we did just pass two years. Um, Penthouse? You insert Patty's Penthouse key into the ninth floor penthouse access lock and turn it one quarter turn to the right. Both you and the elevator begin to rise. That's not the only thing that's gonna be rising. <laughs> Thank you, Turnip! This one's for you! Oh, you're gonna show me every floor, huh? Thank you. Thank you so much for the sub. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Let me just get my finger over the Simpson. I remembered to bring the wine, Patty, you announce. And I remembered to wear your lay, Larry. She smiles. Let me just, uh, okay. Uh, look, woman. Oh, is that all you came up to here to do? Look, pour wine. You decide to place the bottle of wine on the silver tray resting on the table at the foot of the circular bed beside the two glasses Patty has thoughtfully provided for the occasion. Perhaps I should explain. I have a history of finishing, of not finishing what I begin. Just don't be surprised if something happens before we finish. Uh... Rest assured, honey, I promise you, something will happen. Would you care for a glass of wine? I find it funny that the, the game is in second person, technically. Instead of saying Larry says, it's you say. Say when. Right after this drink, Larry. <laughs> I mean, I think we can all relate to the struggle of look woman, talk woman. <laughs> so Patty, how'd you get started in the music business? Shut up, Larry. <laughs> oh, Patty. Oh, she's in the penthouse. She's a guest. Oh, Larry. Okay. 
where did you ever learn to kiss like that? Well, I... When I was younger, I did play trumpet in a mariachi band! Uh... Oh, Larry. I'm not making the sounds. You have to imagine the sounds yourself. Uh, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Alright, okay, okay, buddy. Oh, come on. Where'd you learn that? I'm not too- I'm not only- You can actually get in trouble. Uh... I don't- at that! Where'd you learn that? Oh, okay, Patty! You're having fun! You can, like, actually get in tr <laughs> Well, Pat Larry, perhaps you learned more from Cattle Lao than you realized. Yeah, like, uh, like, uh, uh intercourse- intercourse noises that they- no bueno. Ah! Okay. Thank you, thermometers. Thank you, nip thermometers. I didn't know pectorals could pulsate like that. God, she's so red. Oh God, I didn't read that part. Patty thinks to herself, how ironic, of all the men I've had, this dork turns out to be the greatest. Simultaneously, you each murmur into his other ear, I never knew it could be this good. What's well, a healthy temperature for nips? As Patty drifts off to sleep, you realize this is the one woman who deserves her nickname. Uh, look at his little butt! The woman of my dreams. Yeah, everyone had their sex thermometers. The man of my dreams. I'm in love! There'll never be another woman for me. Oh, uh, how I wish I still smoked! <laughs> the two of you drift off to sleep bathed in the glow of your experience together. That settles it. From now on, it's Larry Laffer forever. Ta tomorrow I must call my boyfriend and tell him I'm... Breaking off our relationship for good. Sorry, Arnold. Oh. I had to show her I was divorced. As she falls asleep thinking about how she handled the end of her other relationships, Patty murmurs softly a single devastating word. Arnold. What? Did she say Arnold? Arnold? Oh, no. I thought she felt something. I know it felt... During the best sexual experience of my life, she was thinking about another man? I'm so stupid. By now I should have learned some men have a way with women that some men don't. I was a fool to believe my new body would make a difference. Nothing makes any difference. Once you're a loser, you're always a loser. Oh, he's gonna- Oh, look at that little butt! I give up. I've had it with women. It's just not worth it. I'm going where no woman will ever frustrate me again. Ah. Okay, he's putting on his clothes. The intrusive thoughts quest. <laughs> it's his, no, it's his MGTOW arc.
there is. It's, it's the MGTOW simulator. <gasps> He's gone, what happened? Where could he be? Oh no, I finally meet the man of my dreams and now he vanishes into thin air. He wasn't real, Patty. Now what will I do? Where is he? He's gone, he's really gone. Oh no. Where can he go this time of night? Why would he leave? Am I blind? How could I have let him slip through my fingers? He's gonna go watch me die. Wait, what's that? Off in a distance. Way over, pa way over there at that point. Was that a flash of white polyester? The man of our dreams. Where's he going? There's nothing that way but uncharted bamboo forest. This pulsing <laughs> that has to be hilarious. Pulsating pectorals are recognizable anywhere. I must give up everything and find my man. I know my quest to find Larry Laffer. Oh my god, what a look. Okay, uh, take wine. Okay. Wear clothes? Wait. <laughs> yeah, the quest for Larry. Okay, okay hold on. Play. Piano. Okay. Yeah, no. well, I think it also it's it's a neat like um, refresh. Like you know, you're you're part way through the the game. They said she looks good in black. Hmm. 
my god, I'm so bouncy. God, which uh, which one did they draw her butt? No, but I think it's an interesting like inventory reset to just start as a new person. It's kind of a neat decision. Oh my god, they drew her butt? Oh, the shower death. Okay, her butt. Bump, bump. Uh, take tips. A few bucks is better than nothing. Where are you gonna, um, where are you going? You're not gonna need a lot of money anyway. Bum, 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 bum. I forgot about Laura, Laura, Laura Bell. That was an interesting series. Dagger of Amon Ra was certainly an experience. Um. Let's see. Uh, fill bottle. Okay, we got water. The second one was really complicated. I'm kind of not really sure where they would have gone from there. Oh god, yeah. I mean, I feel like the, the Gabriel Knight ones were also... Like, the, the, the gameplay for Laura Boat 2 was wild, with just, like, how much stuff you had to do. Talk. Hello, sir, could you give me some information about the show inside? The major D response, tonight's show is offered at the special low rate of only $25. Of course, with tax, that comes to $42.95 <laughs> exactly. Uh, give money. Alright, 43 in tips. Let's go. Sit. Yeah, we did Quest for Glory like forever ago. Ladies and ladies, says the voiceover announcer, Chippendales is proud to present in person tonight only for one show and for one show only the first, the original, the greatest, the owner, Dale. Oh my god, we get to see Dale? Oh god, okay. Uh. Oh god. Ah! At Dale. You slip off your Saturday night specials and readjust your pantyhose all in one smooth movement. Where's he going? Oh my god, whip it. Hey Dale, you cry. These are for you. Okay, ladies, let's really hear it for him. It is Magic Mike! What's this? What's the... Look, table? Um... Wait, okay. <gasps> it's Dale. He's here walking through the audience. Um, 
talk to Dale. Hello, Dale, you coo. Would you like to join me? Hey, was that you that threw that lovely little pair of panties at me, wasn't it? You look lonely. Would you like a little company? Okay. Okay, look at Dale. <laughs> My name's Patty, but you can call me passionate. Um, you may call me Dale. Oh, hello! You're a very pink man. Alright. Alright. Talk. So, Dale, are any way through that treacherous bamboo forest that lies to the north of the village? Patty, all I can say is when all else fails, read your manual. Okay, is, there, is that the only conversation? Okay. <laughs> Kiss, Dale. What? All right. <laughs> oh, what a winning smile. Let's see. What about that Dale, huh, ladies? Okay, so save. Okay, so uh, this is a this is a good old fun Sierra maze. Enter bamboo. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. North once. Twice. I just consult the manual, so part of me thinks that, um... That there's still, like, a hint in the manual or something. God. you meant by you could use a belt oh god no I think I want to go this way I have a map You're not looking too good. Okay, so we went north.
Okay, I believe. God, she's doing all of this in heels. Okay, one more. Oh lord, she's just crawling. I'm gonna save. Crawling in my skin. Okay, drink bottle. Okay. Blindly celebrating your thirst crazed delirium, you throw the now empty wine bottle far into the bamboo thicket in protest of bottle bill laws everywhere. Okay. You just only got one drink, so I wanted to make sure I had... I don't know how I feel about some of these, ca these camera angles. Man, I really feel like nothing will ever be, um... Ah, Space Quest 5, I think, is the worst one. Space Quest 5 is the worst one. King's Quest 5 is the second worst one. Uh, worst mazes, yeah. I did it! As you stumble out of the bamboo forest, you find yourself beside a beautiful stream. Okay, we're gonna save. We did it. The, okay, the, the, the Space Quest one sucks because it's multiple levels. You have to, like, know what floor to go to. Uh, the King's Quest V one sucks because your camera rotates with you. So if you're not paying attention, your map doesn't make sense. Okay. Uh, drink. Oh, God! Oh, Patty, no! Keep on mudding, order in book. Let's keep on mudding. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're not paying attention, I got so lost the first time. dramatic cliff, the river beside you hurls itself over the edge, forming a spectacular waterfall, disappearing into the canyon below. Look. Arch? It looks so beautiful, though. What do you mean? Uh, look. Rock. Oh, resembling a bow tie down. Okay. Remove pantyhose. Oh my god, do you slowly lose all of your clothing? Uh, that would be hilarious. You remove your pantyhose, tie one leg over the tip of the large rock, tie the other around your waist, then lower yourself carefully over the ledge of the cliff. Let's go, Patty! Hope these are support hoes. Oh my god. Oh no, your 
pantyhose broke. Oh, we're okay. Are we dead? You're near tragic, tragic pantyhosing. Of course, it's Larry you're seeking. You bring yourself back to your feet, ready to again to resume your quest for the man of your dreams. Um, look. Your three-point landing has left upon a small ledge projecting from the face of the cliff. All around you are plants with unusually shaped leaves. <laughs> that is a boot print, oh my god. Two small depressions indicate your landing point, oh my god. You bend over and ga gather a few choice products from Dr. Nanuki's garden of unearthly delights. Alright, kids. Oh, that's enough. That's okay. Are you sure this is something you should be doing? Smoke leaves. You quickly dry a few leaves in the sun, pull a pack of pull a pack of rolling papers from your bra, um, and place the leaves into a, into the paper while professionally executing a one-handed roll. Good for you, Patty. You slap them together until they make a spark that ignites your joint. <laughs> uh oh. You begin to get a little buzz on. I'm gonna float off the cliff. I'm gonna fall off the cliff. Don't do drugs. You see visions of Daventry. Ah, oh, bogus. This stuff is wearing off, isn't it? God dang it! Remember, Patty, next time, just say no. Oh my god. Who told you the laws of gravity had been repealed? Uh, it probably really depends on where they live. Panty hosering. Take leaves. I don't know. I'm curious to see how the like remakes did. Make rope. Cleverly remembering that an original legal use of marijuana was the manufacture of hemp rope. You take the marijuana you harvested and carefully weave it into a rope. Fortunately, you picked enough so that your rope is just slightly longer than the distance across the chasm. In other words, our little Muhammad Ali made her own dopa rope. Oh my god. slender thighs around the cylindrical trunk. Good for you, Patty. You grab the large brown hairy nuts. Um. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay, no, climb down. Uh, the pre-thick era, yup. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna save. Okay, throw rope at rock. 
Oh my god. You did it! You blasted that rock on the far side of the canyon. Um... Okay. Tie... Rope to tree. Although your previous experience with knots has been limited to fashion's accessories, plus a few weekends spent on yachts and ports around the world serving as a deckhand au natural, you tie the rope to the tree palm tree securely as you can. Climb rope? You wrap your long, delicate pianist fingers and your long, delicate pianist legs around your handmade rope, squeezing your legs tightly together. An experience wholly unfamiliar to you. You moved the across the canyon. Well, well, well. Isn't this another fine mess you've gotten into? Now you're hanging by your hands and knees from a rope woven from marijuana stems, suspended high above a tremendously deep chasm. Your hand- oh. Your legs are fatigued. Oh, okay, we made it halfway. Oh, okay, your hands have certain skills. Remember Christopher Reeves. Okay, um... Man, that butt's may moving. Okay, uh, tie rope to tree. I do like that she's just okay. Uh, you discreetly remove approximately eight inches from the hem of your dress. Just enough to, um, okay. Um, climb rope. Thanks, Des. Oh. Fine, screw it. I bought the game for the bad jokes. Of course, you can always take the rope back again. Okay. Oh, Patty, your daughter on the palm tree came loose. Now there's no way for you to turn back. Thanks, game. Um, let's save. Dress? Okay, Patty, look out. It's one of the uh, Nantunit Island's rare feral pigs exercising its territorial rights right at you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, um. Okay, so this one is take off bra. Okay, put coconuts in bra. 
Good idea, Patty. You're now holding a bra containing a pair of heavy coconuts. Now what? Swing bra. Look at this little pig. Is that a bow tie? Yum. Your 36C bulas have done its duty. But have you noticed how you're running dangerously low on clothing? Oh my god. Okay, look. River. Okay. Okay. Look. All right. Let's see the way across or after swim. Uh, look. Log. Look. Log. Okay. Oh, what do you need? A hunk of timber. You don't need to take the log. Oh. Use log. Um, oh, uh, push log. to the gnarly log. We did it. Okay, towards your Larry. All right, are we ready? Oh. Oh my God. Oh no, I gotta do all that again. Oh God. You can skip it. I want to see if I can do it though. Ah! I didn't know I was gonna, I didn't know. Okay, that one got me. It is really funny. That in King's West 4, they were like, it doesn't feel right to have death scenes with uh, Rosella. They do not care with this one. Okay, um. Ah! Okay, um. Put. Uh. Swing bra. log. Okay, I'm gonna save. The Wilma Flintstone drip. Um. Okay, I gotta pay attention to the mini screen. Oh God. Maybe if I change the speed. Mm. 
रंग है Okay, gaming hours. God! Oh my god, this is so long. I want to try and get this. I want to try and get this. I'm just saying, if I can get through... No! Oh my god, how far do I have to get? No, I need to get this. I tried, doesn't change anything. Oh God, I made it worse. Okay, if eight, 800 chances, we'll, we'll press F8. Ride, log. Music's nice, at least. We gotta do anything for my man. Oh, God, what was that? No! Oh. God, what do you- it, it's a little too fast. Oh god, there's a bigger rock. That, oh god! Oh! We're getting there, we're getting closer. God, it gets so much harder. God, I need to do this. Lisa's music is way nicer than I believe it was Space Quest 1 where it was just <laughs> Oh god Okay. Okay, we got it though. Hold on. God, look at her boobs. Oh, we're so close though. Okay. God, I'm happy I saved it mid, uh, Stop it. It's distracting me. Oh, 
Ah! Wait, hold, cancel. Oh god. Oh my god, what's happening? Ah, I was trying something. Come on. Oh, I gotta keep thinking my cat's coming upstairs. Crap. God, I had it. I had it so, so close. It is random. Oh, okay. Oh, look, look at him, Patty. It's your worst nightmare. What was it? Uh, she is still on oxygen. She's doing better in every single way, but they can't keep her out. They can't get her out of the oxygen box. Okay, I'm gonna save again. Rock two. God! Yeah, so, uh... What is that? Is it a baby? Is it a man? What's happening? Oh, children. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is all of this for Larry really worth it? God. Oh, it was Arnold. Arnold was the, Arnold was her current boyfriend. Oh my god. I hate that it's random. Ah. Oh. God, I'm like Oh, come on, we're so close. We're so close. What was that? Oh, come on. How did gamers do this? Oh, we're so close. Okay. The fact that they catch you. Ah, okay. What? Come on. That one's so big. Women. Oh, it's an alligator. Oh my god. Can I not even. Hello, Ed. Hi. Oh god. Come on. Stop me from moving. The alligators are so huge. I mean, we can just skip this, but I just, on principle. <laughs> the alligators are huge. Come on, I was doing so good. Oh, come on, he's gonna command the best! Gosh! <sighs> Ooh. 
No, I stop it. Okay, if I wasn't supposed to torture myself, why would I commit to? Oh my god, the alligators are so big. Stop sending me alligators. Oh my god, we're so close. We're so close. <laughs> I hate the al the alligators are huge. Oh my god, I'm doing worse. Come on. God, it's so fast. God, you just... Mm. Oh my God, with the alligator. to be come on we get we got this we got this why am i oh my god oh my god i hate it when it gives me something like right there oh alligator thank you God, I've been hearing this from my nightmares. Come on. The alligators. I'm gonna start back from when it was a little easier. Oh my God. It's about the journey. It's about the journey. Oh my God. Come on, we gotta do this. I wanna do this. <sighs> Come on. Burner, burn, burner, burner, burn. I hate that it's random. Careful! Think ahead! Thanks, Val. Oh my god. Oh, alligator. Oh. oh my God, it's so fast, you guys. The alligator got me. Oh, we gotta save Larry. Like, if you're not, oh my god. I have never played an XCOM game, but they look fun. Oh my god, with the alligators again. Is it alligators or crocodiles? Every video just skips it? Oh my god, well then of, of course. Stop, I don't want to, I don't want to buy a hint book. <laughs> really? No one, no one's done this?
No one in the history games have done this. Ugh. God, okay. Oh God. Come on. I just really like looking at Patty's boobs when she dies. Okay. Ten. Nine. Eight. Careful! Think ahead! Seven. Oh, I hate it with the quarter! Six! <laughs> Five! Four! I hate it when I give it the crocodile! Oh, I hate it. I hate that it's random. I don't know which way to go, and it's like already too late. No! We are so. We're getting so close. No! Oh, okay, come on. Okay, okay. Careful! Okay, okay. Think ahead! I hate the alligator. Why did you send me the alligator first? Any more times? <laughs> God, I just really want to try and see if I can do this. I can dodge it that way, but then I have to immediately overcorrect. Okay. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Just a little bit. No, oh, okay. Uh, eight more times. I'm a good gamer, I swear.
And you're that vet. You're that vet. I just I wanna be a good gamer. I wanna be a good gamer. God, I hate that. I hate the crocodile. Would Sierra publish like a bad racing thing in any of their games? Do you think they would do that? Mario Kart. God, have you got like here? God. are so mean. The kids are mean. Everything's mean. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I... Uh, I give up. I give up. Unless... The camera moved. Oh my god. God. <laughs> Let me get past it. Let me get past it. Let me get past it. Come on, come on, come on. God, okay, it's either hang to the right or move to the center. It usually seems to be a lot more. Oh my god, and they send the alligator. So close. We're so close. I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to do this. Okay, stay to the left. Stay to the left. Stay to the left. No, it's like an alligator. Stay to the left. Stay to the left. Oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so close. I swear to God, if there's more to this map. Oh my God. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna die because of this one. Oh, is there? <laughs> I swear to God, there's a second river. That might have not been good. No, okay, I have to. I have to go back to rock four. Rock five is no good. Oh my God.
No alligator. No, not rock five. God damn it. I would I would throw my computer out the window. Huh. Okay, save. God damn it. Okay. God, we might also be boned with rock five. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm good. Oh my god, we're so close. Oh come on. Okay, you're just gonna keep sending me that. Oh, you sent me the alligator! Come on! Oh my god, does anyone have a credit? No! Hit the right button! Oh my god, you sent me an alligator again! God, we're so close. We're so close. We're so close. Lord, why did you send me your thickest alligator? Am I your strongest warrior? Am I your strongest warrior because I get your thickest alligators? Come on. Oh, we're so close. Lord, help me. God, it really is. Why? Duh. It's really messed up how random this is. <sighs> Patty, why is there the pause? I hate the pause. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> no! Oh! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Alright, but now what let's add? I don't even care anymore! Oh, I thought the alligator did it to me. Ah, oh, you finally made your way past all the obstacles and arrived at a pleasant little clearing. This might be a good spot to take a short rest. Hey, Mike! You place. Your shoes are bleeding. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, I got caught! <gasps> what have they done to you, Patty? God, god dang it! You've been captured by. Nantu Nitz, famous tribe of Amazonian women, cannibal natives. Now what will you do? Will you ever find your Larry? On the other hand, where do they find such stylish outfits out here in the wilderness? Oh, the men are slaves. Knocked unconscious, securely wrapped in the Amazonian woman cannibal's net. You hang over her shoulders like a sack of potatoes in an army mess. Oh, Patty, where will, they, where, where will they take you? What will they do to you? What will happen to you? And will there be a hairdresser available to you afterwards? You jostled through the village, paraded around the square, handled roughly, battered and bruised, then placed inside a cage made of bamboo and leather, an experience not wholly unfamiliar to you. You fondly recall a blind date when you were at Juilliard. <laughs> 
As you slowly regain consciousness, the blackness leaves your brain and you realize you are no longer tied up in that net, but something tells you you are no longer alone. <gasps> Larry, it's you, Patty, it's you. Oh, Larry, I missed you so. Oh, Patty, I missed you so. Oh, Larry, I couldn't believe, I just couldn't believe you left. You can't believe how it felt to finally found a perfect match and then have you disappear into thin air. I wake into an empty bed, rush to the balcony and saw you disappear through that horrible bamboo forest. So I started after you and I found you. We're together again at last and this time to stay. But tell me, Larry, why did you go? Whatever caused you to leave like this? You, you did, Patty. After the most fantastic night of my life, just as I was drifting away into a blissful sleep, I heard you murmur one word. Arnold, why Patty? If I'm so special, why would you speak to someone else's name? Were you, weren't you thinking of him when we made love? Oh, Larry, you wonderful, fragile fool. I was thinking of him because I was trying to figure out how to tell him I was going to leave him for you. Patty, I'm a fool, but what's the difference? At last we understand, we both feel the same for each other. We'll be together for the rest of our lives. Speaking of which, did you come here to rescue me, didn't you? You have some sort of plan, don't you? You didn't travel all this way just so you could join me for dinner in their stomachs, did you? I, uh, just a minute. I'm sure I'll think of something. Better think fast, Larry responds. I think these gals have got something cooking. And it's gonna be us. Oh my god. Careful! Right. Think ahead! Okay, I gotta see what happens. Ride the log. Because I just looked to see what the answer is and it is so dumb. Oh god! Oh god! Okay. Oh god, those are titties. Just don't look at them. <laughs> there you go. Look, you cry out. <laughs> what is the witch doctor doing? Don't look at the titties. <sighs> Women. Sometimes you fight magic with magic. Larry, I don't know if this will work or not, but the only thing I can think of is this magic marking pen. I picked it up at the lounge. Let me see if I can draw us a way out of this mess. Patty, you did it. At least you did something. Is that a magic door? I don't know, Larry, but from the looks of those things hereabouts, I don't want to stay around here. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you, honey. See you on the other side. Oh, dang it, Patty. Oh my god. Oh god, dang it, I'm falling. Larry, what happened? Oh god. The question is, where will we end up? <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the Sierra, at Sierra Studios, workers are busy filming yet another exciting episode of the never-ending saga of Sunny Bonds and the citizens of Lytton, California, USA. Oh, we broke the fourth wall. <laughs> They're driving their little cars. Craig, look out. Get out of here. Watch out, Godzilla Larry, or you'll destroy the city of Lytton!
Did I die? Oh, some guys really know how to make an entrance. Staggering to his feet, Larry surveys your new surroundings. Larry spots you lying motionless on the floor beneath the miniature city of Lytton. Patty, are you okay? I guess so, but if I keep doing my own stunts like this, I'm gonna end up flat chested. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. What is this place, Larry, you ask? Good question, he replies, although it does seem familiar. You take the lead, Patty. Let's explore. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, look. It's supposed to be Sierra's prop storage room, but look at all the old flats and backdrops on that rack. Look, men? Those must be the insurance salesmen from Space Quest 2 Volhall's Revenge! Look, uh... Ah, uh, that old tub's- that old tub dates from a very early Owl Low game. Look, car. Oh, that's how they did the taxi cab scene in Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards. Pick up a copy today at a software store near you. Look, clothes. Those were worn by Murray's in those famous Manhunter games. Oh! God dang it, you shout. Now what? We're weightless, Larry yells. You are on the set of Space Quest. A machine is working its working a way down near the floor. Uh I didn't even know about Manhunter. Um Upside down in order to read. Okay. Ah! Ah! Larry's gonna fall to his death. Look, Larry, you cry. I did it. The anti gravity ge the anti gravity generator is unplugged. Wait a minute, Patty. If there's no anti gravity. Pfft. Oh, how did she land? Oh God, we just saw a lot of Patty. Oh, that was a rough one, what's next? Hold on. Uh. Oh my God, I cannot spell. Oh my God. Truck that camera left. No, 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 move back. Good, 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 that's fine. Stop right there, barks the woman in the director's chair. Oh, it's Roberta! It has, they have to, okay, it has to be Roberta. Uh, turning to the actress on the set, she says, Now, Rosella, what do you, what do you say we take it again from the top, and this time really show me some emotion? And action! Ah, uh, it's, it's Perils of Rosella, King's Quest IV. Cut! That's no good! Try it from the right side this time. God, I didn't like that puzzle. You have to, like, climb the whale's tongue. Just the right way. This is how they- yeah, this is how they made the game. I'm curious if this shows you... 
I'm curious if this shows you how to actually beat this part of the game. What's going on here? I don't know. That, that girl seems pretty tired of going down on that tongue. This just isn't right, whines the actress on the stage. It's too humid in here. This wool skirt keeps soaking up water. That goo you spread on the tongue is too slippery. You haven't given me my motivation for this scene yet. Thanks, thank you very much, Rosella, interrupts the woman in the director's chair. If you have any other complaints, please don't let me stop you. Well, yes, I do, she pouts, pointing directly at you and Larry. I thought this was a closed set. Who are these two people over there? Cut, break, 10 minutes, people, she shouts to the crew. With an angry glare, she turns to you and Larry. And who are you? What are you doing here? How did you get in? Come here over here right now. As you move closer, you recognize the woman in the director's chair. Why, Larry, look, it's Roberta Williams. To her, you cry, oh, Miss Williams, I've loved your games for years. What an honor this is to finally meet my software hero. Well, um, yes, I'm Roberta Williams, but who are you? Reverend Berta, I'm passionate Patty, the world-famous lounge pianist. The gentleman to your right is my lover. His name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Nice to meet you both, but how'd you get in here? This is supposed to be a high-security area. We just dropped in. Literally, offers Larry. Actually, Berta, we've had one hell of an adventure getting here. Why, I've just been through a virtual maze of bamboo forest with just one drink of water, rappelled down a sheer cliff on a pair of pantyhose, Crossed an incredible chasm with only a handmade rope, bought ferocious feral swine with my underwear, ridden, ridden a log through a whitewater canyon, and... Okay, alrighty. Enough, enough, laughs Roberta. But what about him? I... I've had quite a few adventures in my day, too. Oh, really? Anything you might want to... Anything that might make an adventure game? Of course, it would, Bert. You brag confidently. If you could just, um, set us up with that little place to work... Up to my reasonable standards, of course. We could write you a whole series of adventure games for you. <laughs> oh my god. We could discuss this over lunch. I haven't eaten anything in this entire game. As of as the three of you head off together, Roberta says, um, we do have we do have a home on the lake. Will that adequately meet your knees, Patty? <laughs> And so it ends. Larry and Patty move in together, sharing a simple programmer's shack in the mountains. Patty gives up her musician's life on the road for the one man she she found able to match her passions. Larry begins to tell the world his life story through software. Oh. Now let's see, it all begins in lost wages. What a, what a great ending. Outside a bar named Louie. No, Louis? Oh, that's not right. Hey Patty, give me a name for the bar. How about lefties? That's good, babe. Hmm, maybe I should compile and test this. Let's see if my little Larry can go inside. God, they just really loved making programming jokes. Oh my god. The end. We did it. We won. Let's hope you enjoyed Leisure Suit Larry 3, Passionate Patty in Pursuit of the Pulsating Pectorals. You, Larry, and Patty have certainly been through a lot together. You did a great job, but you did miss a little something, for instance. Okay, do you remember when you were Fat City? Okay. Oh boy. All right, that's it. That's Larry for you. There was a there was a woman. There was a woman who we were like we we were supposed to get all swole to help film a thing, and I could not make her appear. There was supposed to be a woman in that recording area. Uh, let's see. Do we have any friends that are streaming? Um, uh, I will be back. Ren is doing the jumpies. 
We'll hang, we'll hang out with Ren. Uh, I could not get the woman to appear. But yeah! Thank you all so much! I'll be- I'll have a schedule up soon. <gasps> Goodbye! Uh, remember, program games get hot beans. <laughs> Goodbye!